Hi there, my name is Sandra and I'm doing another video tutorial on Leonardo Design Studio for the Caesar Cutters. Hey, I said it the right way that time. I've got great difficulty in coordinating my brain and my mouth when it comes to the name. What I wanted to do today is to go over briefly what happens if you import a different file type. Now, PNGs and SVGs are going to be dealt in completely different ways as indeed are JPEGs. So if you have a PNG or a JPEG, it's a raster file. It's going to be treated differently to an SVG, which is a vector file. Vector files are the ones that your cutting machine uses, basically. Vector files actually contain shapes which are formulated by nodes. It's a bit like an adult version of dot to dot. All the shapes are made up of nodes, which are the dots, and the shapes are made of of the lines between those dots. And that is basically how the machine knows where to cut. So if I go to import a file here, and I'm just going to import one, okay, I'll go for a PNG. Between PNG and JPEG, it really doesn't make much difference at the moment. So you can open either. So what it's going to do when you import one of these is it's going to assume you want to do a print and cut and it's going to cut the borders for you so you can adjust this as I have done before in my other videos showed you how to adjust it but basically I could just take this click on next it'll do its thing now I've got it at the moment to include holes but if for example I end up with holes in here which I don't want you can increase the minimum contour area so that will get rid of a lot of holes if I put it down you see that center hole here has now appeared if I put it up gradually there we go that's where it disappears at 150 if I put it back down again that hole is going to appear so you can do that and you can alter your smoothing etc and you click on next and go yeah I'm finished if you don't want an offset and there you have it and then you go to send your design and you have your print and you have your cut file so far so good what happens if you actually want to cut this out as individual pieces now for that you need a vector file because at the moment it doesn't trace files in that way it will eventually, I'm told, but at the moment it doesn't. So I don't want to save anything on that file, but I'm going to import the same file in an SVG format. Here we go, Reef SVG and open, here we go. So now we have different options. We have the print and cut option, which I don't want. We have editable artwork which allows you to load in the file keeping fill gradients and pen lines so you can edit it and turn it into a print and cut logo i'm not looking to do a print and cut what i want is this option here which is cut only this option will allow you to choose the color layers you want to cut out onto various media so if you're doing htv you're doing vinyl you're doing cardstock you're layering different colors, this is the option that you want. So you click on next, the colors in use. Yeah, those are the ones that I chose to use. Now you can include alignment marks if you want to know. If you're doing a paper piecing, you may not actually need to do that, but if you're going to be cutting it out of vinyl, yeah, go ahead and check that, you're going to want it. Draw solid fills, just affects how you see this design here, and go to apply. The image that I have here has a little bit of a problem, so I'm just going to show you this zoomed in version. Now I want you to look at particularly these three red circles here. I'm not too worried about the little white bits which I'm supposed to have cut out but I'm concerned about the overlapping nature of these three berries. Now, normally what I would expect to be able to do is select them and weld them together. 
But doing something like that on an image like this isn't the easiest of things to do. And I would expect to be able to do it in the next window when I send to design. So this is where we have our layers all nicely set out, completely separate. If you've put your marks in, your marks will be here as well. But this is the layer that I want to look at. And this is not going to cut very well because we have these overlapping things here. So what would we normally be able to do about this? Well, if you go to the arrange and you go to ungroup, uh, <laughs> I'm always getting that error message up. It goes away, it doesn't do anything, it just gives me an error message. We would expect to be able to have these ungrouped. Now these may or may not be ungrouped individually, but the set of them was certainly ungrouped. So if I go to ungroup again, these are all now separate little circles. Go to the edit and to weld it. Now it's not greyed out. So I would expect this to work. And I happen to know that it's not working and it's probably a software glitch and I have reported it. So I'm sure it will get fixed. But what you would need to do is you would need to weld them. And that would normally make this all one shape. OK, so that's just how you would normally deal with it. If you're, for example, doing paper piecing, you could go to arrange. If you've ungrouped it, you'll be able to move these around so that they will be in the smallest area possible. For example, you won't have to put them in the position that they appear in the design. So then when you send it to cut, this is what you're going to get rather than the previous version, which was like that. So then you can just cut your various individual elements and off you go, your design is done. But you can only do it this way with an SVG at the moment, you can't do it with a JPEG or a PNG. That's it for the moment. I will do more videos, I'm sure. I'll see you again soon. Take care now.